and just making sure we're recording dog welcome back to another banger video for you guys today man today's video we are doing a pickup on the unc toes man them suckers sold out everywhere but we're gonna get into that make sure you like comment subscribe your boys over here at hidden sports and i'm excited about these man these are a size 11 i hit on a size 11 took an l across his chart with everything man but these will be available on the website link in the description below hey you already know but let's go ahead let's go inside pick these holes up and with that being said let's go ahead and pick these joints up all right, man, secure the bag. Shout out to Hibbit Sports here out in the hood. One thing I can tell you, man, the aroma in this month, <laughs> bro, it smells like cryptocurrency like up in this motherfucker, man. Yes, we are in the one part of the hood of Orlando. Orlando got multiple hoods, but let's go ahead and let's talk about these joints. So we secured it, as I said earlier, let's go ahead, let's go back to the crib and let's talk about what these things are gonna do in the resale because I just looked it up, man. And basically, long story short, these things are doing their thing. They doing their thing, bro. They doing their thing. They starting to spike up a little bit. Size 11 is going up and I, I'm doing my research on GOAT. Hey, we're back at the crib. It's actually the next day. <sighs> long story short, I was supposed to do something with the shoe, but it didn't happen. It didn't come to what we like to say, fruition. This is your boy Top just trying to use some big words over here. You know, basically, long story short, yeah, it didn't come to fruition, but don't matter, man. I'm here to give you guys my thoughts and opinion and what I think this sneaker right here is going to do in the resale market. Currently, I have this on the website right now for $245. I'm thinking about putting up the price because the price keeps going up. I haven't checked yet, but last night before going to bed, I saw this size 11 going on go for around $250. This is what people are paying for. So out the door, out the door, out the door, people are paying close to $280 for this shoe. In my opinion, I think it's worth every dime. This is a dope, dope, dope sneaker right here. This UNC toe definitely hits different. The material is on point. Everything is on point about it. I did take my time though and analyze and study the sneaker as a retail shoe. Shout out to Hibbit Sports for hooking your boy up on this W right here. But definitely, this is a sneaker right here that I feel like is part Probably gonna help the resale kind of come back at least with this shoe right here in my opinion like this is the hottest shoe of the summer so far this sneaker right here the unc toe super dope i'm i'm you know i'm not a jordan one fan so for not being a jordan one fan this right here this this color blocking right here is different now seeing it in person instead of seeing it in other people's videos and stuff like that i think this is a a unique sneaker in my opinion it's kind of giving me i don't know why the air jordan one mocha which is currently on a waffle right now man so make sure you guys participate on the waffle this sneaker is also in the waffle as well so if you guys want to participate go ahead and feel free to but if you need the size 11 it is on the website and at least i can guarantee you an authentic pair you already know your boy tops is legit all right legit legit <laughs> But with that being said, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think this shoe is to you guys. If Did you cop? Is it a shoe that you're like, oh shit, I like it? Or, oh shit, I love this sneaker? Could it be sneaker of the year? I don't know. But let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know your thoughts and opinion on it as well. If you guys can hit that like button before we get into this next segment. All right, this sneaker, I feel is going to hit a little, little hard in the resale market. If you don't buy right now for the toe and you're waiting, then... And in my opinion, by the time you're getting ready to buy, the shoe's probably going to be at the $300 mark. $300 mark is a cap for a lot of people from what I hear when I go live, stuff like that. People are like, nah, I wouldn't spend $300. But this shoe, I can see this shoe, like if it was a different market today, this shoe would be easily $450, $500, like right off the rip. If this was like, I guess, pre-pandemic or pandemic, yeah, this shoe easily would have been like $500. But since the market's a little bit low right now and stuff like that, I, I wouldn't mind paying from the 240 to the 260 on this shoe right here resale this is the time to buy this shoe is always going to be on like a somewhat of a high demand not as much as it is for the next month or so but i feel like this shoe is going to be high demand a lot of people are going to be wearing them because it, it is a wearable sneaker and the sneaker is going to be kind of like people going to want to once they see them on a shelf at a resale shop they'll be like damn how much are those right They're, you're going to get that you're going to get that at, at, on a resale shop if this is standing on the shelf like this take me out out of the background people will look at this shoe and be like damn how much are those if you have your price in the bottom and that hole says 350 i'm pretty sure right now people see that 350 they'll be like damn should i do it right so with that being said in my opinion i think this shoe is a like a 350 dollars shoe i wouldn't be surprised if resale shops right now got these shoe on their shelves at 350 
so I wouldn't blame them. It's actually 350 in my opinion at a resale shop and you're able to see it in hand and you're able to grab them. If you got the bread, so be it, man. Grab them. You know, at the end of the day, it's a dope shoe, really well structure. Sneaker, Jordan 1, which Jordan 1s are usually not that well structured. But this one is, man. That toe box is crazy right there. Ooh, that thing looks really nice. Um, I really like that outsole type deal. And the black leather as well is amazing. And the white, as, as you wear this shoe, this shoe's going to just look sexy, bro. This shoe will hit for me with the blue laces and then pot of blue laces. But what's the colorway on this? Mm, University blue, black, white. That's what it says on the tag. But yeah, man, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. We're about to tune out this video. Don't forget about the waffle. 25 will get you on the main wheel. Five will let you battle it out with the minis. And we're bringing them hoes back. Yeah, it's a little slow right now, but we're going to crank it up. We're going to crank it up. We're going to make sure that somebody... You already know that you know my waffles ain't one and done bro my waffles are multiple winners no matter what shoe it is either getting a free slot or sometimes you get a refund or depending on what shoe goes crap you could probably get two sneakers off of one wheel so with that being said thank you guys for tuning in this is your boy tops and i'm out Persh. I think I'm gonna call this a hold or sell video or pick up vlog slash hold or sell. Hmm. I don't know, but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Yo, if you tune out at the end of this video, make sure you guys check out this video right here. This video right here is a banger, so make sure you guys check it out. Thank you.